What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in this video, I wanna talk about where I think the future of, of training is headed, right? So before I get started on that, like uh, the last video I posted was maybe three weeks ago. Now I've been pretty inconsistent lately. And so I wanna apologize for that. And one of the reasons is because, well, when summer came along, right? Work was slowing down. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm a personal trainer. And uh, I started in January officially, right? And then so from January until, until summertime, it was rocking and rolling, man. So like I had so many clients. And what usually happens is that summertime comes around and everything slows the fuck down, like big time, you know? For many reasons, um, people, well, when it's summer, the kids are, are off school. So, you know, parents you know, have a little bit less time you know, to train. Uh, they also have more activities outside, so they could go swimming, biking, whatnot. Um, you know, it's nice outside, barbecues, vacation, you know, all kinds of stuff, right? So people don't want to be indoors, which is kind of normal because here up in Quebec, that's where I live, Quebec, Canada, uh, Montreal, if you guys know. I mean, we have about three, two months really of, of summer, right? Where it's actually nice outside. Uh, and after that, it's, it's pretty much 10 months of misery, you know, uh, and it gets really cold up here and it's long, it's kind of depressing. So summertime, understandable, uh, you know, people don't work out as much. So anyways, it got really slow. And what I did is I was like, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to go back and take some more, uh, courses and, and whatnot on, um, on training, you know, because there's so much to learn, right? Like just because you, you're certified doesn't mean you should stop studying. Doesn't mean you know everything, you know? So I think there's a balance to be made where, yes, you have to work uh, as a personal trainer so you get experience, you get better at it, but at the same time, you do have to keep evolving. So that requires taking more, more courses, you know? <laughs> so that's what I did. I took more courses. And um, yeah, so now I'm, I'm going to start making these videos again. I realized that now I, I got to keep this up. I, I think I feel as though it started off pretty well. I got a lot of you know good comments from uh, from you guys, you know, from uh, a lot of the viewers here. So it was encouraging. So I I don't want to stop this. I feel as though I shouldn't. Anyways, if that makes any sense. Okay, so let's just get into what I think the future of training is. So I took this course called uh, neurotyping. All right. So this has to do with uh, your neurology. All right. It sounds kind of fancy, but essentially. It's based off the work of uh, a, a psychologist. I forgot the, the name, right? And then from there, well, uh, this, this, this trainer, uh, his name is uh, uh, Christian Thibodeau, right? So he's actually from Quebec, but now he's in the States. He actually has his own channel now called Tib Army. So if you go to tibarmy.com, um, that's his website, or you just write Tib Army in YouTube, right? Then you, you know, you'll see a bunch of his videos. He started on YouTube. And he's going at it strong. I think this guy's going to blow up probably in about, uh, um, you know, probably a year or two, you know. Like his videos are really high quality, the way he talks, the way he explains things. So anyways, I listened to a bunch of his videos. Uh, he was referred to me by one of uh, another, another trainer who, who follows him a lot and studied uh, a lot of his stuff. So I, I took the, uh, and he has this course called Neurotyping. So I took it. And what, what it's about is that it, it all comes down to your brain chemistry, right? And brain chemistry is uh, something that you, um, well, that's unique to you. I mean, there's only five types, okay, according to the system, five types. And those types, uh, each are different neurologically. So they have different, different brain chemistries, okay, they have different uh, levels of uh, like five, or well, there's a lot of neurotransmitters, but five different ones. And depending on which type you are, okay, that's going to dictate how you should be trained, you know, whether you're made to train uh, high volume, uh, low volume, high frequency, heavy weight, uh, you know, explosive, or, or you're, you know, or you're someone who needs a lot of variation and so on and so on. It's super interesting. So I finished the course. So I was really, my head was really stuck in that. And uh, I finished the course, I got certified in it and all that. So super interesting. So I just wanted to, and this is where I believe the, the, the future is going in terms of training, right? It's going to go more based on genetics, right? And this, 
This here is really based on your brain chemistry, which is kind of essentially uh, genetics to, to a certain degree. I mean, it could be, I think, I believe that it could be played with from my understanding. Uh, you know, when you're a kid, how you were raised, how you move, how much, uh, um, how, what you're exposed to and all that. Uh, so it, could, it can affect your brain chemistry, but all in all, it's, it's pretty advanced stuff. I mean, this has to do, so, okay, let me just get back here. Let me just circle back. Your brain chemistry also dictates your behavior, right? So you can actually find out what type of person is, okay, by making them do a couple of physical tests, right? That gives you clues. And then after that, by asking them a fuck ton of questions, because this was based on, on the work of a psychologist, right? Like these, these, these types, these neurotypes, right? These five different neurotypes have very specific um, uh, ways of, of acting and, and, and behaviors, right? That are very specific to them. And so it's super interesting. And, and this has a lot to do with their neurotransmitters. So they're in the course, we, we look at five, five, five uh, main neurotransmitters that have the biggest impact on behavior, right? So you have, um, let's see, you know, uh, I just woke up, just had one coffee. So just give me a second here. Oh God. Okay. Dopamine, adrenaline, uh, glutamate, acetylcholine, GABA serotonin. So GABA serotonin, think of those as the, uh, the brake pedals. Okay. And all the other ones I mentioned, okay. Are the accelerators. So one amps up the, 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 the first three, okay. Acetylcholine is actually neutral. So it doesn't actually do anything. It kind of just, you know, it's actually, a, anyways, I don't want to get into a big diatribe about it in this video. Okay. But I'll, I'll make some more videos and update you guys on what I learned and what I'm using and what I think works and all that. I think I just moved my camera there. Sorry. So to get back to what I was saying, um, dopamine, adrenaline, glutamate, those are the things that activate your brain. Right. And then, yeah, you gotta, you got it. Think of it as the accelerator. So those things, you know, amp your brain up. Now the other two things, those are the brakes, right? So they calm your brain down. So you have to have a balance. You have, your mind has to be on mostly during the day <laughs> and at night you want to shut that shit down. So how do you shut it down? Well, you need, that's how your brain shuts down. It's through uh, serotonin and GABA. I know it's a little bit more complicated than that, but you know, um, Hey, that's just a, a way of exp explaining it in layman's terms. Okay. And, um, so that's what I've been doing. It's super interesting. I've been working out myself personally, according to my neurotype. So I'll make another video soon explaining each of the neurotypes and how I've, I've, how I've been doing on it. And listen, like if you train according to your neurotype, what's interesting is that you recover ultra fast, ultra fast. You recover so fast. It's crazy. Right. And you feel great. You feel great. And then even there's a way of eating. And, uh, you know, uh, how many times you should be training, how long you should be training your time and attention. It's super interesting guys. And me, like, just to like, just to give you guys an idea, since I've been training the way that I'm supposed to train, right? Because I'm essentially a, a one B. So I have to use a lot of explosive work. You know, that's what works best for me. That's what I recover, uh, really quickly from. Okay. So I've gained, I was at 68. About two months ago, I was at 68 kilos. For those of you guys who, who, uh, who don't know, I, I practice judo, so I compete and all that. I'm 40 years old, yeah, so I'm still here. And um, so 40 years old, competing in judo, uh, my, my category is 73 kilos, right? Well, under 73. So I was 68 about two weeks ago, uh, two, two months ago. Now I'm at uh, 72. You know, and I haven't even eaten that much more. I've just, you know, eat a little bit more because I'm hungry. Uh, but other than that, man, like, uh, you know, wow, I recover so fast from my workouts now uh, because I do what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. So, oh, also, I just on a side note, like this, this was, um, I always thought this neurotyping thing was essentially dead because this was the first one who started talking about this and started pushing it a lot. And he even said this was the future of, of, of training, right? It's going to be based on genetics and neurotyping and your neurology, your brain chemistry and all that is, uh, the late, uh, super trainer, Charles Poliquin. For those of you guys who don't know, he was 
essentially the best trainer on the goddamn planet, okay? But he passed away recently, so I thought that that that, that side of things was pretty much gone. You know, who knows when it was gonna show up again, but turns out this dude, uh, uh, Christian Thibodeau, right? Actually, uh, you know, took it back up and uh, brought it to the next level, you know? So super interesting. I'll put a link down below for you guys to check out his, uh, uh, his YouTube channel or website, whatnot. I'm not affiliated. I don't, I don't make any money off this. I wish I did, but eh, whatever. doesn't matter. I, I enjoy sharing good content with you guys. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I'm back. I know I said that many times, but I'm back more consistently this time around, okay? And uh, I'll try to make this shit better in the background. I think it affects, uh, you know, viewership or whatnot. All right, guys. Peace.